hello year six and welcome to lesson four um, of our geography topic this week on the layers of the earth. Um, today we are going to put all knowledge together and in order to draw some simple geographic diagrams to represent physical processes. So today we're going to be drawing a diagram and labelling it um, showing what we know about the earth's inside giving some details about each layer. Um, so we've had a look at a video through the week and we've used it a couple of times and hopefully you have stored some knowledge from that. If not, it is on the website and you can go back and have another look. Um, that's how I put mine together. Um, over the next few slides though, I'm going to give you a little bit more information about each layer, um, which I've also put pictures onto the website for. So you can always come back to them um, and change them and adapt them and try and be creative with your end product. So let's start with the crust. The crust is the top layer that we live on. The crust looks different in different places. Some areas have mountains, oceans, lakes and hills and others don't. The way the crust is put together is different, is sorry, is the reason that we have all of these different formations. This is because the crust is not one continuous piece. It is made up of pieces that overlap to cover the entire planet. These pieces are called tectonic plates. The crust on average is about 22 miles thick or um, about 50 kilometers the thickest th part is thought to be about 40 miles thick and thinnest only three miles and that part is at the bottom of the ocean. Okay so moving along the next layer inside the earth we have is the mantle. So we know from our video that there is an upper and a lower mantle and sometimes they're referred to as two separate layers although here we've got them together. They account for about 60% of the earth's mass making it the thickest layer of earth. Temperature ranges from 500 degrees at the crust to 4,000 degrees near the outer core. The upper mantle mixes and moves, causing pressure underneath the crust. And this is what causes those plates to, to move, is from the, the pressure underneath. This pressure can sometimes leak out onto the surface, such as a volcano. Um, we also know that the mantle contains the lithosphere and the asthenosphere. And there's more information about that on the video which I've used in my presentation. Okay, down deep, deeper, deeper into the earth, we have the outer core, which is about 30% of the earth's mass, temperature ranging from about 4,440 degrees Celsius to 5,700, which is as hot as the sun. The outer core is a superheated liquid lava made of iron and nickel. Um, iron and nickel are types of metal, of course. Without the outer core, life on Earth would be different. Scientists believe that the convection of liquid metals, which means the movement due to temperature of these liquid metals in the outer core, create the Earth's magnetic field. And that's how we get amazing things like the northern lights. Um, so moving down further into um, the centre, and the last part we're going to look at is the inner core. So the inner core right down into the very centre of the earth and the um, it's made up of the same metals as the outer core which were iron and nickel but instead of being liquid it is solid. So the inner core reaches temperatures of up to 5700 degrees again the same temperature as the sun and with its immense heat energy the inner core is like the engine room of the earth. Um, it's basically a solid ball with a radius and we remember that from our math lessons that the radius is from the middle, the very centre, out to the, the edge or the circumference. Um, the radius of about 760 miles or 1200 kilometres and it's about 70% the size of the moon. So over the next few slides... Um, there, so you're free to stop this at any point and come back and watch the, the movie or once you've had a look at this and I've explained to you what I need to do um, you have got all the rest of the information on the page for you um, to look at and to magpie from because of course we want you to have a good an example of what a good one looks like um, what we want you to do is to draw a diagram of the earth and its inner and then label it with all of this new information. So over the next few slides, I'm gonna show you some examples of what some of you might do, some of you being more um, artistic than others. Um, you might want to take a, a quarter chunk out of the earth uh, and show it that way. 
Um, I love this one. You might need to bring might want to bring the layers of the earth out and label them like that. Um, this is a nice simple one I found, which is probably the one I would go for if I were drawing it. Um, and then we've got some nice computerized models here. So don't don't be afraid. Uh, don't you can do this on a word document if you like. Because I did m mine on a word document. Um, here's another one with the chunk taken out with some arrows and some word boxes. Um, so now I'm going to show you, I'm going to read to you the one that I've made up. I have taken my information from two sources, which is these um, slides that I've just shown you and also the knowledge that we had um, from our video over the week. There are lots of videos about the inside of the earth if you wanted to do some further research. Um, so we have Inside Our Earth by Mrs. Hill, the crust. The layer of earth that we live on is called the crust. It can range from between 5 and 70 kilometres deep in places and can be home to oceans, lakes, mountains or deserts. The crust is made up of giant plates called tectonic plates that overlap and move around, crumbling to make mountains and plunging down to create deep trenches. The mantle. Consisting of two parts, the upper and lower, the mantle contains the lithosphere and the asthenosphere. The mantle is about 2,900 kilometres deep and is the thickest layer of earth with the biggest mass. The mantle moves about, creating pressure at the crust and it can sometimes leak out onto the surface, which is how we get volcanoes. The outer core. Deeper into the centre of the earth you will find the outer core, which itself is 2,266 kilometres deep. Temperatures here range from about 4,000 to 6,100 degrees Celsius, as hot as the sun. It consists of lava, lava made from iron and nickel. Uh, the metallic contents of the core are believed to have helped create Earth's magnetic field. And finally, we have the inner core with a distance of 1,200 kilometres deep and a scorching temperature the same as the sun. The Earth's inner core is also made from iron and nickel and is mostly solid. It is estimated that the inner core is growing at a rate of one millimetre per year. The immense heat and energy act as the Earth's engine room. So there is my example with one little mistake in there, which I think you might have spotted as I did as I was reading it. So hopefully you'll be reading yours as you go along as well. Um, good luck. And we cannot wait to see these in our shared in Mrs. Cox and my share folder.